Hello, this is Roberto Olivo. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist, and I would like to talk to you about depression. I would like to talk to you about emotional memories. Emotional memories is a term that I developed with the assistance of a friend of mine um, when we were talking about emotions that come without any warning and without understanding of what they're coming from. Sometimes we might be having a great day and all of a sudden we become sad. All of a sudden we become anxious. All of a sudden we become angry, frustrated. And we do not understand what does, why, are, why I'm having those feelings, what is taking place. Um, often we have emotional memories that come when um, action in today's present, at this right moment, um, click a past memory of a trauma that we are not aware of, but the emotions of the trauma emerge. We might see a commercial, we might see a movie, we might hear a conversation, we might have ongoing dialogue with a friend of us, and the emotion just comes. And the emotion comes because that's an emotional that is linked to a trauma of the past. When we have those emotional memories, the sadness, the pain, the sorrow, the sense of uh, hopelessness will come to real time right now. But it's related to a trauma that took place in our lives when we were younger, when we were kids, when we were uh, young adults, etc. Understanding that those memories have nothing to do with right now, it will help us to process that emotional memory easily and to be able to learn from it. Uh, many times we are not aware what is taking place inside of me when I have those emotional memories. Developing a sense of safety is a must. Um, Identify a place or a person with whom you could process those painful memories, those painful um, feelings, it's very important to be able to let them go. Quite often, we hold on into our painful memories, and we do not let them out because what might other people think of me, or what other people might think of the situation. We need to remember that what other people think of me is none of my business. But it's of my business is what I think of me, what I think about who I am, what I think about how I live my life, what I think about how I'm enjoying or not enjoying my life, what I think about how I'm using this time today to be a better person, to have a better relationship with the universe, to have a better relationship with my family members, to have a better, better relationship with my friends, to have a better relationship with my partner, to have a better relationship with my children, co-workers, etc., etc. Life is a moment, a day, a week, a month, in where we have the opportunity to enjoy who I am, to enjoy what I do. Do I work for a paycheck or do I have a career that I enjoy the activities that I do and I find pride, I find joy, I find pleasure on those activities. If I work right now for a paycheck, then I think it's time for me to revise my life, revise how I'm investing my life, how I'm investing what I do with my life. Many of these questions could be answered when you seek out a professional mental health provider that will help you to understand these concepts and to find the solutions to these questions. If you have any, any more questions about this, please contact me. I'll be able to help you to secure a mental health provider or to set an appointment with myself. Until the next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.